In today's Squad Builder Showdown, I am putting on the line the most expensive cards I have packed tradable this whole year. Shapeshifters Garincha, first owner, tradable, 4 million coins. And when you're doing a Squad Builder Showdown this expensive, there's only two men that you could possibly be joined by. We are not joined by Bateson Jr. today, also known as Danny Aarons. We are joined by Bateson Sr., also known as Bateson. How are we, Bateson? Within two minutes of packing the card, I received a WhatsApp. The WhatsApp read, Squad Builder Showdown on Garincha tomorrow, question mark? <laughs> Just laughed at him. Here we are. It is now tomorrow. Yeah. That's a you philosophical so question with. for you, Bateson. Can it ever be tomorrow? It's too early for this type of stuff, Andy. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, that is the last thing I expected to come out of your mouth then. <laughs> um, yeah, no. No, I'm going to go. I'm going I'm to stay no. But tomorrow is Wednesday. So when it's Wednesday, it's tomorrow? No, because then that's Thursday. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, this Garincha is crazy. I got him in a pack and play in video, on camera. So if you want to see my reaction of that, go and watch yesterday's pack and play. I'm sure it'll be titled something like, I packed my most expensive tradable card ever, or something along the lines of that, because that is what happened. It was this man. In fact, I'm going to be honest with you, my reaction to it is the prelude or preceding it, like what happened before it, is very, very funny. So I would recommend going and checking that out. It was... It, it was a very quick 180, how the tables turned, we shall say. However, we are here today to do Squabble the Shirt on him. We're going to go through the squads, guess the players, and I'm going to kick it off by guessing Baton's formation and giving myself the best chance of win. Because I I think I've beat you once this year, Baton, and I think you've beat me about five, seven times, something like that. Yes, it's... It's been pretty, like, the previous years I've been chilling on FIFA, but this year I've like, I'm going to actually try and play good. I've been playing all right. You're but then again... Bag. I have been hitting your players quite often, which is something which doesn't usually happen. But it's, so it's made it a bit. I think it's made it a bit easier to hit players this year because of the chemistry. Except for you, because I never know if you're going to do a normal team or yeah. put in team of the holot or something like that. When I do scrub the show with other people, apart from Danny Aaron's, it's kind of just you. You guess the good players, and if they pick the stinky ones, you get to play against the stinky player. With you. There's another level to that. We're not talking players who cost six, seven, eight hundred, nine hundred k. We're talking players who cost fifteen million and you can't even buy them on the market. And it's stupid because I feel silly writing them down. And then you just pick a million coin striker instead, and I just get battered. It makes me really sad. It's, it's, one, it's one of the things now. It's end game, isn't it? Like we've got goalkeepers playing as striker now, so have fun, you know. But that's how I play FIFA all the way throughout the year. Have fun, Bateson. Yeah, have fun. People have been having a go at me actually because I've been. Trying to score kickoff goals in Scott Builder Showdown. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, I can imagine, yeah, because I, I, I would, I would love to smell the gaming chair that them uh, over the top through ballers are, are, are doing. I seem to hit them all the time as well. Oh, yeah, people were not happy when I did Scott Builder Showdown against the Tani and tried to score a kickoff goal. I mean, I personally thought it was funny, but then everyone was like, "If they did that to you, you'd be raging," and I'd be like, "Yeah, but that's why it's funny." <laughs> And Itani won't be clued up to know yeah, what's going to you know go on I mean? in game like, play, If Itani scored a kickoff goal against me, I'd be fuming. But it'd be hilarious. But Itani's one of them. Itani's a, a, a FIFA player which abuses in game mechanics. That's what he's done. Like, he's a long shot king, I remember, since yeah, uh, FIFA, it's not 12, my fault. FIFA 12. He plays FIFA. four guys 20 hours a day now and doesn't know the mechanics. It's his own no. fault. Yeah. Man, it's saying that we, we we get caught out with, with other top three balls, don't like, we? We forget that kickoffs are a thing. And then we're like, oh, cool, 1 0 down. I have been holding my whiteboard up for a good five oh. minutes, Bateson, so I'm going to say to you, no, it's not your fault. I'm just talking about being a sweatbag. What formation would you like? Could I politely have the 4 3 2 1? When you said politely, I thought you were going to play five at the back. In fact, Bateson has <laughs> admitted to me that he plays 5 4 1 in foot champs, ladies and gentlemen. Get him. No, 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 no. I said I play two formations. My team, and if you guys haven't seen it, check it out because it is a god squad. 4 3 2 1, it starts off with, but because of a shapeshift of Virgil van Dijk, which is a nice defensive midfielder, you can also switch it to the 5 4 1 and drop him into centre back because he's exactly the same card, but if not, a little bit better. But I only do that 99.2% of the games that I play in Foot Champions. You're an animal. I put 3 4 2 1 because I thought you might want to have the same sort of vibes but not seem like a sweat bag on camera. Okay, okay. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to go. For a formation that I think is making a bit of a comeback, I haven't played foot champs for a little while, but when it did, this started to dominate me. 4-2-3-1. Four, 
So I thought you weren't going to be a sweat bag on camera and give the viewers what they wanted, so I went with a four, three, four, two, one. <laughs> Did you write the same thing as me? <laughs> we wrote the same formation down. That's funny. Is this actually, is this sweat bag? Is this good? I, I've not played with that. I have played against it. It is very difficult to break down. Yeah, it used to really annoy me in foot champs. Okay. Striker Grincher, rocking it solo. What a dynamic image, by the way. Yeah. Man I looks like he's about to stroll out on stage in Vegas. Imagine if you had Chester. Oof, that'd be 10 out of 10. <laughs> okay, well, I'm just going to move swiftly onwards. Okay, into the first play as we go. As always, we're Squad Bellashone against you, mates. I am both excited to hear what you're going to use and terrified to hear what you're going to use. Fun. A fun for you, fun for everyone watching. Terrifying for me. So that's why I'm, I'm going back to me guessing your players, right? And I've actually thought it's actually going quite hard to guess them now because of the amount of shapeshifters which have uh, popped along. So with my formations, uh, with you picking my formation first, am I picking your players first or? I want to know who you want, Peyton. I want to know who you want. Right, so I would like, and I'm gonna, I'm, I'm actually going to use some shapeshifters. The first one is going to be a French striker. Team of the year, Benzema. Oh yeah, he's a shapeshifter, isn't he, Bateson? No, but his partner will be. Oh, don't say... Oh, you're going to say Dembele, aren't you? Oh, no. he's going to say... No! Ooh, I could... No, I don't think no, I can. No, 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 you couldn't! You couldn't, no! He's not a shapeshifter. But I can use the other shapeshifter from last week, German, and it is Rudiger. Interesting. That's what I would like. Something, something new, something different. I don't know how much they're coming, coming at, if I can have them. Could you have used Dembele? Uh, let me just double. I don't think I could have, because he's a shapeshifter. N oh, you could have, actually. He can come to centre forward. Wait, he goes that far? That's not even a shapeshifter. I mean, he's a right wing, usually. Well, thank Christ I'm not playing against that, and I'm playing against Ruzer instead. That's okay. Okay. I wrote Cristiano Ronaldo. Okay. And Phil Foden which is weird because we were just completely irrelevant of the fact that I'd written Foden. We were just talking before this section about the fact that Phil Foden's son has 2.2 million followers on Instagram. He's posted two pictures. Well, I say he. His dad's posted two pictures. First of all, didn't even know Phil Foden had a son. I thought Phil <laughs> Foden was about 16. He's posted two pictures since the Champions League. He's got 2.2 million followers and is verified on Instagram. He's about six. Yeah, it's a bit mental, isn't it? Bit weird, I'm going to be honest with you. Bit weird. Not for me, that. I can't believe you chose Ronaldo. Well, I thought Ronaldo Talisca, you know? Oh, so, uh, as in... Oh, and I'm Ronaldo. No, Cristiano. Oh, right. No, like, I don't think I'd ever pick Cristiano Ronaldo. No, team not of the season really, Ronaldo and then Talisca. Nah, re and then, really not a fan of him. I don't have the pleasure of trying many of these cards out for a long time. Mostly because I just discard them. Yeah. But when I used that Cristiano Ronaldo in Squabble the Showdown, I literally muddered my club to do a video on it. Never been more scared doing a squabble of the showdown because it was quite literally, I sat there, I sold contracts, I sold position modifiers, I sold every player in my club to get him. He was so broken, it is unbelievable. I think there's better players out now. I think really? Petr better. Yeah. You think Petr? Oh my God, okay. Petr a beast. All right, would you like to know what I want? Yeah, please. I'm going to go with the scary one first. Okay. And it is Centurion's Neymar. Oh, thanks. And then, unfortunately, on this account, I was a silly Billy and picked the pack instead of the Pyatt because I've still got this stupid little Santa hat wearing arse who used to terrorize me in foot champs. Hate this man. Hate him. But he's going in my squad and hopefully he's going to cause some pain to you. And then in the middle, bit of a random one. I've never really used this card, but he's a bit of a foot icon hero legend I don't really know what you'd call it Cherky Cherky and he's got bad. a foot birthday to commemorate that I guess yeah so I so, so I, I I started stabbing around you know seeing picking players from different uh, leagues to see where you would have gone because it's very difficult with an icon so first one I went to the Bundesliga I picked Adiemi. okay the second one I went to the Premier League, I picked Bernardo Silva. And then the third one, I went to La Liga and picked Pedri. So you can have all three of them, Andy. Very nice. I did want to play them with Messi, 
but apparently I discarded them, which is very sad. Yeah. And then a, there's an Mbappe that can play camp. There is. But he's five mil, so I wasn't picking that. Yeah, makes sense. Yeah. Okay. Well, you've, you've got a good attack there. Like, not uh, bad, mate. Not, not too bad. Yeah, good attack for November. <laughs> You're an arse. <laughs> Let's move on <laughs> to the midfield. All right, Bateson, my turn to go first. Let's take this up a notch. How are you feeling? I'm feeling all right. How are you feeling? Good. Any any symptoms? Of COVID? Other than baldness? Oh, no. No? I realised that I re one thing is, I realised I have not got a forehead. You haven't got a forehead? Do you want to borrow some of mine? I've got loads spare. I just have a head. Oh, okay. <laughs> I realised that in a video the other day. I got a five head, mate, is what I've got. <laughs> Everyone tells me I'm going bald, and I'm like, I'm not. I had this hairline when I was 13. <laughs> I, 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 honestly, I can't. For the people which like, type bald all the way, oh, you're bald, I've never said a bald person before. I cannot wait for you guys to grow up. <laughs> Go bald or just grow up. Because you're going to hit you're gonna hit it, and it's gonna be, you're going to end up like it. Um, Nintendo 64 controllers on your head and stuff. It's going to be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> that's what people that, to be fair that's what my dad had where it like properly goes back and you got an N64 handle yeah. I'm doing alright I've just I've just always had a five head Bateson's got a one head it's fine yeah. but other than baldness no symptoms no no why don't need to see a doctor I am actually seeing a doctor today but that's another story you're about to see another one first mate Socrates shapeshifter okay well didn't expect you to throw that in there but okay and then, this one's dead sneaky, because as we've discussed, Baton, I don't do objectives because play golf. However, I did do the year in review player pick and got Luis Gustavo. What a random pick that is. Okay. So I thought you might stick Ligon, and I went with Turam, and I went with uh, Sizoko. Is he signing for Liverpool, by the way, that Turam? Or is that just rumours? Uh, rumours at the moment. There's, uh, there's two of them were, were apparently rumoured with him and Kone. Liverpool need to do something anyway, we've only signed one person. I've seen in the news today, I don't know again if this is just clickbait, apparently saying Jurgen Klopp isn't staying past the end of his contract, but that's what he said last time, wasn't it? Oh yeah, he will do. I think the only job he goes for now, he will, he'll never touch PSG. No. Because of the German way that's German national ran. team? Yeah, I think German national team's the only one. Because then he's completed management, hasn't he? He's done, well, in his, like, as a German. Yeah. He's done Dortmund. He's done Liverpool, so he's gone abroad and done something and won everything. And then German national team will be quite good. I guess it depends what he wants to do with his life, to be honest. It's more of a personal thing, isn't it? I'm sure if, if he wanted to stay, Liverpool will keep him forever. It's more if he oh, yeah. feels fulfilled doing it. That's it. Anyway, can I have both of them, please? I assume so. They're pretty you can, random. Yeah, but yeah. Two months is like, I can't believe I don't know what I'm going to do with Jorge Stavo, though. That's a random one. Is he good? Have you used him? I've not gone near the uh, crazy players. The Saudi so, League, you're a Modric. Yeah, so, so Saudi League, I don't, actually, I've used them in draft, but okay. I've not used Gustavo because he's never in draft. And, and I'm not a fan of Ronaldo either, so. And, t t yeah, Taliska is the only one I've used, and also the one with a bugged hairline. Who's that? FG? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, there's, a, there's a Brazilian player, Romarinho. Is that him? Okay. <laughs> he's got a really bugged hairline in game anyway. So, Andy, I... I've gone uh, in a bit of a predicament, so I'm going to take a risk. Now, we've been talking about a 97-rated player today. Actually, a few 97-rated players today. One of them being French, one of them being German. But the one I would like to go and turn concepts off um, is a Croatian. And it is going to be uh, Luka Modric. Do I have him as a normal? There Tots we are. Modric. 300k Bateson. You run out of coins, mate. No, I've got him untradeable, I think. Yeah, I've got him untradeable. Andy. This is building an untradeable team. Um, in the middle next to him, I don't think you would have gone down this route. So I would like Musiala. And then finishing off another Shapeshifters, who is a Cam. And I think he was an SBC. 95 rated. Upa Meccano. No, Bateson, no, no. What? You've broken your own rules, you can't do that. No, 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 no. No, because you're we, not no, we, no, we broken the rules this morning. Because I, because we're doing a squad build showdown, guys, and a player which I would never do one on, but then Andy reminded me it's the end of the game, and if I want to risk it. So I was like, actually. It's a disgrace! Am I ever going to use Upamencano? When am I ever going to use Upamencano? You're an absolute joker, mate. I wrote Martial. 
because shapeshift a centimeter. I wrote it as a Dan because I thought you'd think you were clever because you told me that you could pack him, that you packed him and you thought you'd get him in the squad. And then yeah. I was, I was going to put Musiala because German and he's the best on him. I thought, hmm. Maybe not. I was like, oh, we could go up a Meccano and Musiala and link them together. And I was like, no, Bateson doesn't put SBCs in his squad. He can't use him because on the off chance that I win or get a draw, he'll cry if he has to discard it. He doesn't care about Garincha. He doesn't care about discarding 15 million if he discards Team of the Year Ronaldinho. I'll just buy another one of them. But 200k up a Meccano, there'll be tears stroll streaming down Bateson's face. Well, I thought I wanted to build. I wanted to build a nice team and use players which I never get to use. I've never used a Superman counter. A lot of these players are getting their debuts today. Well, that's if you never. Who do you write down again? So I put Adiemi for the German. Ooh, Adi, yeah, Adiemi was. Well, he was originally going to be there with uh, instead of Upa, but because of the um, Benzema link, I went with the French. It's not okay, Bateson. Oh, we've got full teams. I'm you liking this. You can't make your own rules up and then break them so I can't get your players. It's already hard Well, enough. you've already broken a rule, Andy, because you're doing a squad builder over three million coins. <laughs> so, yeah, swings and roundabouts, mate. Swings and roundabouts. Is my team more... No, my team's not more expensive than yours. You don't think? Nah, it's not. Musiala's actually quite expensive, isn't he? Open my and you've got Benzema as well. What am I about? Nah, not even yeah. close. I don't. I've got, actually, do you know what? My name, people. Be, oh, good team for November. Shut up, Bateson. This Neymar's still 1.2 mil. That's cute. You little 200k. You little 200k Modric. I actually thought it'd be a lot more, but I think we've hit that stage now where this is gonna like next week definitely. You're gonna see players being fodder. That's that's coming. Regardless of who it is, they're going to be fodder. When that 85 times 10 repeatable pops along, <laughs> game over. I'm going to do every SBC. Get me the Ronaldinho SBC. Get me the lot. Nice. First of all, I need to guess some of Bateson's players. This is getting silly. Let's move into the fullbacks. Into the fullbacks we go then. But before we do that, we've just had a new update to FIFA for the Women's World Cup. Let's take a look. Are we get an ultimate team on it. No. No. Yeah, oh. I'm watching a video now. This yeah, is I've got the sick. video playing. Australia. That, oh, it's in Australia and New Zealand, isn't it? Because it's on at, like, England's women's first games at, like, 8 o'clock in the morning on a Wednesday or something mad like that. And some of them are, like, kicking off at, like, 4 a.m. How dare they not centre the whole tournament around the UK, Bateson? I thought this... I thought that was my ticket to go to Australia for the first time. How incorrect was I? <laughs> it must be well annoying being... A, a sports enjoyer, I guess, from that side of the world, because so much of it is so, like, Europe and East Coast of America-centric. Even when I was watching the golf, the US Open, and it was on the West Coast, it was in LA, it was such a pain in the ass because they didn't finish till, like, 4 o'clock in the morning. But that's what it's like for them all the time. Right, the best thing I'm seeing about this, Andy, is the new World Cup women kits, and they have very nice kits That as kit well, is very it? nice, actually. Katie's got that top. Yeah. Um, it's really, really nice. No ultimate team, which is disappointing. It's like the yeah. World Cup one that we got for the Men's World Cup, I guess, then, innit? Nothing within ultimate team for it. Anyway, let's get back to our normally scheduled Scumble of the Showdown. If you can think of any good ideas for videos you'd like to see on the new World Cup modes, let me know in the comments section. Bateson. Hello. Would you like to know who I want? Or would you like to tell me who you want? I would like to know who you want because you've got me confuzzled. Who are you confused by? It's Gustavo. Well, I've got two Brazilian icons. So I only need two more Brazil players to get them onto full chemistry. So I'm going to grab one of them right now. And it's going to be Alexandro. Okay. And then I don't do objectives, Bateson. Psych! I'll have Bamba. Nice. So I was, like I said, I was confused by the Gustavo. Because I was like, he's very, he's isolated himself with, uh, with Brazil. So I looked through Brazil left backs and Brazil right backs and I wrote down a Serie A one, which was Dodo. I thought he's got an amazing name. And then there was another geezer called Beginning with A. Do you know that person, Andy? Alex Tellez. Yes! But the guess I made was Alexandra. You're a knob. So, oh, did you, did you, did you celebrate by any chance? Did you smile? Was you, was you like getting that Grinch grin like, yes, he's not picked him? Oh, I wanted to go Ishmaili, but I could just see the comment section. Oh, I just could hear your voice. Oh, is it December? <laughs> There's a player here called Bruno Bertin Bertinato. 
Yeah, there, there was also the, the, yeah there is Ishmaeli there as well. But he so I initially wrote Alexandro and Ishmaeli, but then you would have kept it. Void your you? guesses for being a little I, yeah, scammer. I guess two yeah. left backs. So I was like, oh, actually, I need to go and change that last one to Dodder. Wait, hang on, he's playing left back. Oh, you're gonna have Garincha right centre forward, aren't you? Right, Mr. Andy, now you got a chance. He looks good, no? Six foot four. Goalkeeper stats. It's shapeshifters, Andy. Everyone loves the goalkeepers at the moment, right? So, I don't like my goalkeepers, so I don't want one here. So I'm gonna play it safe. And I'm gonna go French, left back. Not low to high. Um, and it's going to be an inform... I'm going I'm to ask for an inform card. Excuse me? I'm going to ask for an inform card in June. Could I have Camavinga? That's a good choice for November. For <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then the other player, I'm going to use a special position change. Um, and it's a player which I've repeatedly tried to get in squad builder showdowns for at least three years and it is a team of the season centre back and it is Kunde no no oh my god I rubbed him out and changed it you can even see my original <laughs> guess is wait, 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 down, and I changed it to Militao because I thought you wouldn't do it because he's so bait who's bait Kunde Nah, Militao, Militao's bait. No, he's not. You tell me. You come on this series and all you do is endlessly profess your love for Kunde. Hi, guys. Love Kunde. <laughs> but I like getting in my teams, though. I, I, once I've been hit a challenge, and I've been this has been three years, guys, right? Three years I've been set this challenge, right? And he's like, ha, <laughs> Kunde, change him for a bronze. But I think this year I've got him in twice now, maybe a third of you. So you wrote Militao down. Well, I wrote Kunde in my brown pen, and then I rubbed it out. I put Militao, yeah, yeah, yeah. To be fair, my left backs and right, they're, they're a weird choice now. I don't know how Camavinga plays at left back. Kunde, I don't know how he Pretty plays Pretty good right in back. November. <laughs> oh, this team's looking amazing. Oh my god. Hi guys! Hi guys. Welcome back to another video and I tell you I love Kunde. <laughs> Why would you pick him? Guys, I also love Red Belling them. I don't want to flex this. Can I, can, can I use this as a flex, Andy? Did you buy him? I've got a pair just red card as well. I know you have. You were flipping them for coins. Yeah, <laughs> I, I was made 500k like, on one of them. <laughs> So I, I bought a red um, Jude Bellingham for 3.8 million. You're off your head. But I kept him. I didn't sell him, though. I bought Di Lorenzo for 100k, and I bought... I can't remember who the other one was that I bought. But I bought him for, like, 90k, and then sold him for 450 or something like that. Yeah. Oh, it, it, it was a weird morning, that was. Oh, it was Saliba. It was Saliba. I bought him for 90k and sold him for max price. Did you hear what Marshall did? Marshall's was funny. Get banned. No, so, so, so Marshall was in my stream watching me, and I was like, oh, Bruno Guimera's 230, I bought him. And Marshall was like, I haven't got him red. I'm going to buy him. I'm a, I'm a Geordie. <laughs> so he bought him for 550k, which was max price. And he's like, oh, it's all, it's all right, guys. I'm never going to sell him. Plays the weekend league, gets his rewards, gets Bruno Gramirez red. <laughs> and then he's got to resell the one. He's just paid 554 for the same price. <laughs> oh, funny. Oh, dear. Oh, I'm so muddled. Let's get into the final picks. Right then. I need a big, big section. To be honest with you, I just need to guess one. Anyone, and I'll be a lot more confident and a lot more comfortable than I currently am. And I'm gonna make you go first, Bates. Okay. Make me feel better. Say one of these names. So you know that I'm on full chem on my La Liga. And then we start going elsewhere. So we're gonna go to the Bundesliga, first of all. And I'm gonna, I think I sold him the other day. But I'm gonna try and go with Trophy Titans Lucio. You're actually a joke. In the middle next to him, you guessed him before, Andy. But I would like to bring him into the team right now. And it is team of the season, Militao. And then to finish off with, I could put absolutely anyone in this team. I'm going to throw in an award winner's Airways to Stegen, if possible. Don't like this game. Don't like this game, Bateson. How'd you... Right, right. Open Meccano, Bateson. Yeah. You don't do that normally. No. Camavinga. 
<laughs> Never do that. <laughs> Don't do that normally. So I thought, <laughs> okay, Bateson's trying to be smart here. He's trying to be clever. He's not going to go Lucio Militao. He's going to go Becker. He's going to go Van der Sar, maybe, to be sneaky. He's going to maybe go Kalulu Mignon. No? You just you put SBCs in and get fullbacks from November, and then you put Trophy Titans Lucio in. But we've had a conversation where you were like, Bates, I don't know if you know, like, the crown chemistry, they, they treat like a, a hero. Yeah. I was, like, I was like, don't worry, Andy, I'm never using a Trophy. Thought one you were baiting me. Oh, no, I definitely wasn't using Becker. Um... My initial thought was going to be Delict. I thought that's very bait. Um, Delict with someone else and then Van der Sar in net. But then that, you potentially could have got me on all three of them. Whereas if, because you thought I was on full, because you knew I was on full chem, I was like, I'm actually going to stay in the league and try and get the hero chem. So I risked it with one to get fr uh, to get two. But by the sounds of it, it sounds like I've got all three. Well, you have. Nice. And I'm scared. Not a bad SBC submitting team, right? Who would you like, Mr. Andros? Militao. No. <laughs> okay. No, don't say it like that. Anyone else you would like? Don't say it like that, Bateson. Don't say it like that, right. I even need two... Well, I need one league earn who gets a link to someone. Or two French. Now, the, the scary part is the league earn I was going to go is Schmeichel to Debo, but to Debo's French. I can go two French, but they have to be from the same club if they're in a different league. So I could go, oh, Kalulu Mignon isn't sneaky because of Alexandro. It's not as sneaky as I think it is. Oh, no, this isn't good. This isn't good, Bateson. Right, I'm going with what I said. I'm sticking to my guns. I'll have whatever millionth in form it is, Kasper Schmeichel. And that means I need to Debo. So I went down the route of French first, so I went with a French goalkeeper. I went with Samba. He's awful. I know, uh, I don't know, I've played against him a few times, he's annoying. And then I was like, I'm gonna go Brazilian for the defenders. And I wrote down one from a league which isn't Liga N, and I wrote one down which is, which was Marquinhos, I thought, he's too big, you might try and use him. And the other I wrote down was Danilo. So you can have your back line. Yes! Apart from Apart Alexandra. from your left back. Yeah, okay, okay. This could, could have been worse. Yeah, not bad, that. I'm still terrified, to be honest with you. Your team's absolutely stupid. I'm going to say... Okay. Okay, right. Deep breaths. Positive thoughts. Should have picked Ishmaili. That's okay. We move. We can do it. Let's get into the game. Danny Aaron's is so clear of you, by the way. Why? He doesn't use loans. Bateson Jr., my goat. I, did, I didn't mean Boom. that. Boom! There didn't, we oh, go. Okay, stop. That, you know what that is, Andy? That is karma. That... That is a nice Ooh, goal. That is a nice goal because that just sent Kunde to back to Sevilla. No. Oh, he's done the wrong one. One thing. He's done the wrong one. He's bottled it. My lone centre back. Mate, it's actually disgusting. You've got more loans than hairs on your head. Oh, you have as well. You moved that keeper, didn't you? I didn't. I want to smell your seat. <laughs> Excuse me. <gasps> That's, That's a lucky. No! That's a foul! Bateson, stop bullying. Oh my god, what are you doing? What are you doing, mate? All manual then, mate, that's you. Oh, no, no, no. I think it was a glitch, aeroplane. Boom, oh, Musiala. Good goal. Do you want me to do a pay to win on Yandy? I paid FIFA points for that celebration. <laughs> I just thought I'd show you that. Oh, Churchy. Eh? He's terrible. Oh my god. He wouldn't pass it. Oh, you threw on goal from a tackle. Oh, you're taking the piss. <laughs> that is beautiful. I won't lie, the initial the skill move wasn't the intended one. It was an L1 heel to heel. Right, here we go. Good ball. Nice header. Bang. 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 Oh, come on. You could have blocked that. You could have blocked it. <laughs> 
That was that was like prime bass there. Do you like that? Why is he there? Why is he there? Oh, that! Oh, oh my you... God, dude, that was nice as well. Luciano at the back. Oh my God. Oh my God, these are terrible. My centre attack and mids are so bad. Neymar cost me 1.2 mil and he can't even pass the ball. Scrubbill of Showdown Data is actually creaming at the fact he can start moving you up the leaderboard in terms of team costs. This, bear, <laughs> the, whatever the hell, awful. Cherky and Pyre to kill me. Neymar! The amount of times I told him to play a pass and he just tried to use his other... Oh, I've got five-star weak foot. Let me... Hang, hang on. Let me take a touch on to me left. Show up anymore. Pass the ball when I tell you to. Wait, who, 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 which objective players have you got in your team? I don't care about objective players, Bateson. I care about the fact that Neymar costs 1.2 mil. Militao costs basically a mil. And you're inches <laughs> four. Which objective players have I got? No, but I... I mean, what do you mean? Mm, which own case? Do you not remember the celebration I had when I got Randolph, finally? So I never have to see him again. And I think I've seen Paya in a few games against you. So I want to see him gone as well. I've got three guesses. Yeah. And you're in the four, two, three, one. Can I have your left cam? Your right centre mid. I don't have a centre mid, Bateson. Okay, your Do right CDM. Or CDM. CDM, okay. And your right centre back. Points, baby! <laughs> you got an objective player, Bateson. Oh, but I didn't get an expensive one. It was Luis Gustavo. He's made one, one <laughs> game for the club. He came out of a year in review. And he's gone. Schmeichel and Cherky. This Cherky's awful, by the way. The amount of times yeah, I told him to do yeah, a... he's not that good. He isn't that good. I, I told him to do a Berber... A McGeady spin. He's doing Berber spins. You've got five-star skill moves, bro. He, he was good when he came out. In November, yeah. Jeff fun, though. I said, you saved a lot of money. You didn't, didn't cost me anything. It's not really cost me anything, to be honest with you. Let me go put these in an SBC. Right then, there we are. He's lost his Gustavo. Dreams of linking him to Taliska and Ronaldo in some videos, but never mind. I'll take that sacrifice to keep all of my coins. For now. Remind me to stop using players that came out in November. Goodbye.